Hey guys, I'm Bajad Ahmed and uh, this is my sixth lecture on MS Word 2013 and uh, in this lecture I'll show you how you can insert many things in your document so let's start doing it. So first of all we will learn how you can insert the picture in your uh, document. So just click on insert and then click on this picture icon click on it and you can choose any picture uh, from your file double click on it and you can choose the picture you can adjust the size of picture by just dragging the pins from here like this you can increase the size from width and height from here uh, you can change the uh, effects reflection and border and anything that you want to want with uh, your picture or you can even correct the color as uh, of your picture from here like this it is very interesting thing and you can even change the color for it it has many effects artistic effects and much more things uh, which you need you can even drag your pictures if it is not going just uh, like I, I had showed you uh, the word art that you can change the text wrapping tight draw select draw and you can drag your picture anywhere like this okay or you can make it on background picture or above the text it looks better at the draw okay the next thing I'm going to tell you how you can insert the table in your uh, document just place the cursor wherever you want um, your table just click on insert and then click on table or the little arrow uh, beneath it okay now select the columns uh, rows like this or you can insert table by just clicking on it and you can write the columns I need five columns and Mm, three rows four rows and just click on it okay and you can as you can see that it is mm, inserted inserted here you can even change the style of it it has built-in option for it you can change any style you can write text here or you can center the text it's a test text okay right click on it on the box and then, and then just click on center to center the text uh, as you know that uh, how you can style the text uh, I told you in my first lecture uh, you can even shade your text or uh, color it is coloring your box background okay and total rows banded rows it doesn't affect much I don't know about it um, and that's it you can change your border width by just clicking here you can drag it by just clicking here and drag it upside down right click on it you can insert more columns rows it is saying insert row above it is inserted the row above okay and uh, you can merge the cell what is merge the cell if I want the cell to be merged in it like I want these columns to be one column right click on it select the columns and right click and click on merge cell and it will um, show you only one cell now everything you can write here it is because it is one cell I think white color is best for it. Yeah, yeah, that yeah it is. Okay. The next thing I'm gonna uh, tell you is symbols. What is symbol? Uh, just place cursor uh, at require location and click on insert, and then click on symbol that you want to insert, like a uh, chart. Okay click on chart and you can insert chart 
any style choose any style bars by lines whatever you want like I'm um, placing a pie chart here double click on it it will load and place it here you can change the size of it on your require like it is mm, USA UK and countries other countries population okay so you can change the digits double click on uh, clicking on it and change the value whatever you want it'll change the value and that's it click on cross to close it and you can drag it anywhere to place it it also has options like texture wrapping and changing the chart styles and main things now the next thing I'm going to tell you is text chart place the cursor wherever you want or not click on Z and then click on text box by clicking on it you can insert many types of text boxes in previous versions you can only add this type of text box so just simple but uh, in this you can um, add any text box that you want styles like it is in books if you're writing a page for a book it has subtitle sidebar title you can uh, edit your text here increase or decrease the width of it like this and it is very simple and easy to use now uh, I'll show you uh, many things in my next lecture thank you guys for following me and please uh, watch my next tutorial and don't forget to subscribe me